So, Appa, mm. uh, I know this paper is about wear, mm. but what is the particular novelty in the steel that you are studying? The steel uh, is of very high strength, about uh, 2 gigapascals, and also it's a ductile and weldable. Uh, more, uh, above all, it's the toughest with a 75 gigapas uh, megapascal uh, square root meter. So, uh, with these combinations of steel, it, is, uh, it can be used for many applications. Now describe exactly what uh, the wear test that you are using mm. to assess this material uh, is. And uh, what is the hardness of the steel as well? The hardness of steel is about 600 wickers hardness. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the test we are doing is impact So abrasion. it's 600 wickers it's hardness hard. and still it's really quite tough at 75 megapascal yes, root true. meters. That's yeah. remarkable, remarkable, isn't it? Remarkable, yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the test we are doing is impact abrasion, uh, where the specimens, are, uh, the steel is exposed to impact by the granite, and also abrasion when it is uh, uh, moving over the granite. So in a way, we are uh, testing the, its uh, toughness and also resistance to scratch, that is hardness. Okay. It's so how does how does, uh, how does the test work? Uh, we uh, uh, the test consists of a um, tumbler. Uh, and the samples are fixed at the center, uh, uh, the uh, fixed to the uh, rotating shaft, uh, whereas the granite is kept in the tumbler. So they are both rotated in the same sense at very high speeds, so that uh, the granite hit the uh, st uh, steel samples. And also, when the steel samples move above the granite, it exposes to the abrasion. In a way, it's impact as well as abrasion. So that's uh, quite severe and yes, in severe what indeed. circumstances in real life do you get that sort of... Uh, uh, I can give you a very simple example of uh, transportation of material, let us say um, iron ore. Uh, during uh, loading, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the truck body exposes to impact loads. Right. The same truck body exposes to abrasion during the unloading. So, Appa, uh, who are the people you were working with? Because it's all very well to have some equipment, but you need uh, real expertise as well. Yes. So, who were the specific people you were working with when you visited uh, Tampere University? Uh, Dr. Uh, Viltonen is a lab in charge of the uh, group, hmm. and uh, Professor Kuala is the uh, head of the uh, wear and other related work in the Tampere University. How does this novel steel? perform against standard materials or experimental alloys that have been subjected to precisely the same sort of impact tumbler Now, when you wrote this paper, mm. um, there was a comment made by the referee yes. about uh, 
are you really testing mm -hmm. the steel mm -hmm. or the granite that is embedded yeah. in the steel and what is your um, so uh, that was a very good comment uh, from mm -hmm. the referee and uh, that allowed us to understand the mechanism further. So what we did, uh, it is very easy to find out the impact and abrasion areas uh, in um, backscattered electron microscopy. Uh, then uh, find uh, uh, and count the number of impact areas compared to the abrasion. Okay. If the if there is some difference between these uh, impact and abrasion events um, in both the in compared uh, to the quenched right. steel, then uh, it then it has something to do with uh, composite effect of the. Uh, Granite embedded, yeah, in the granite embedded in the steel. Uh, surprisingly, we found that um, in both the steels, uh, I checked about 60 images, uh, in, uh, 60 images in um, quenched steel and 60 in the high toughness steel. So they gave a similar amount of um, impact and abrasion uh, areas. So okay, in a way so, so you could uh, remove that as uh, a yes, variable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, another impa uh, important um, uh, finding is that um, the impact and abrasion is 50-50. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so in a way, it is uh, you know a combination of both. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that that is quite interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because uh, you know the toughness matters when you have impact. Impact. Uh, yeah. yeah. Dominant Although impact. even with abrasion, I suppose you get bits and pieces coming off. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What was uh, Matthew Pete's role? Uh, well, Matthew Pete is the one who designed the steel uh, for such um, um, uh, to develop the steel to have very high toughness and also very high strength and weldable, so, weldable as well. Uh, and then uh, Tata Steel produced mm. the steel in uh, Midani in large quantity. Large quantity. Yeah. So that's why uh, that's why we have Matthew and uh, Saurabh uh, as a part of our group in, the, okay. uh, in completing this work. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank well you. Well done. Okay.